Hey, listen, uh, Drew came home from school for Christmas holidays and I'm going to put him to work on the uh, 2018 XRS. Greg Kelly said we need to get Drew on camera more because he gets all the hot young women to follow the channel. So let's see where that ends up. Today we're going to start with the LED signal lights. And uh, I really like this product. I was excited when Skidoo came out with it. It's a safety feature. It's neat to see other companies like LJE Enterprises coming out with a kit for Polaris and, and non Skidoo brands, but you can't beat the fit and finish of anything Skidoo. And these are gonna be dynamite. So you can run them with a white LED. You can run them with an amber LED if you're ahead of the last rider. And if you're the last rider in the group, you can run it on a green LED. So it's, it gives you the best of all worlds. Anything to increase safety on the trails we love, right? Yeah. So we're gonna get right to this. Drew's gonna do the work and I'm just gonna be like the manager here in the, in the garage and see if he's gonna have a job in January or not. We're gonna remove both these hand guards to start. Yeah, so we can play with them on a bench. It's a T20 Torx for pretty much everything. If you got to take off this part, this part's pretty much all T20 Torx. Pretty easy to do. This is truly the easiest part right here. Can you go over to my little Mastercraft tool bag and grab my metal tray out of it? There's a metal tray in it for catching bolts and stuff. Mine's not good. Is mine not the right color? Oh, it's a little tiny one. Yeah, it's convenient. Mine's not as big as his. Actually, if you watch the Amsoil products on the Amsoil.com website and use my dealer code, oftentimes you can get metal tray kits for free. There was a toy truck, that uh, a really cool toy dragster truck that they had lately. Um, lots of times they got free shipping. Um, they had toques, caps, LED lights. Like, not these LED lights, of course. They had LED, like, headlamps. <laughs> if you want to know what's, what the... You could even drop it on the floor like that when you... Shh. Just throw the nice clean hand guards on the floor and try and smash those mirrors. Well, it's a good... <laughs> Everybody needs seven years of bad luck. Everybody. Not that it's we don't have bad luck. Wrench every day. Don't forget to go to mudbrats.com and uh, check out the new merch. Dropping soon. <laughs> take this the side that I don't drop as I take off. Ooh, Perfect. ah, okay. Nice job. We're do are we done yet? Okay, we're gonna open up the box right here. You can get instructions on the website, which we do have printed off already. Your uh, wiring harness, I think this has the splitter. Your sled does have a splitter from the um, 12 volt accessory. Hey. That's the nice thing about Skidoo is when you buy an accessory, they usually give you the the, the tools to actually- Looks like some spacers. Splitters, and... we got the switch. That's nice. gonna be the that's gonna be a trick to actually Ooh. kind of hold the console for the switch, but we could always just leave the overhang in the side too. You get the switch. If you don't have you never seen them, They're pretty sweet. Like oh again, BRP quality, good quality zip ties with it too. It's a good products. Yeah. See, in all kidding aside, that wiring harness is way thicker than the old LED lights had. Yeah, that's actually. If you ever really had good. the old LED style lights that were in your hand guards uh, and they failed on you because the wiring was too thin, I I think they they take. They also of that. appear to have cr like glued some sort of structural reinforcement on both of them too. Yeah, yeah. So that's Maybe. so that's at least they're they at least they're taking customer feedback from the last uh, last yeah. unit. So looks like you're getting a good quality product. So let's that's get good. into the let's get into okay, the install here. Again, it's a T20 forks. Oh, it landed in the magnetic tray by chance. That that tab right there, right? Yeah. And then that slides off. So you have to push it. We're just going to pull up gently just... like this. And you'll see it'll kind of snap. And then you're going to slide it towards the e end of the guard. And it just comes right off. So you see that tab there. That's what was in this hole here. So that's what he's sliding. He's tipping that up and he's sliding it back. Oh, you can actually use the colored caps I know, with these. You can use the colored caps. That's the nice I'm thing go about it. Drunk. By uh, inserting giggity, into, the, giggity. into the handguard. It has the same exact sort of tab set up as the clear plastic did. And I think if we get some of this wire out of the way, should just should just snap right in. <laughs> Go. Okay, so you're gonna insert it in. Giggity. And you're gonna push on this on the cap until it snaps in. And don't worry about the flying pieces of plastic. 
That, <laughs> that's by design. Engineers did that for you. And it has two clips. And you're gonna, you're gonna feel both snap in. This is just to rest against and hold it in place. And then from the front, there should be really no gap around. Are we done yet? They kind of have these little pitchforks as they were to, uh, to hold it and it kind of just goes like this. And that's like, I assume why they put this thicker piece here because then that kind of stops this part right here in a big bend spot from bending. This is we've honed out the, uh, the arm here and we've we cleaned up the sharp edge on here with an X-Acto knife just to give a little bit more breathing room in there. So now when we put this thing together, look at the size of the hole the wire has to pass through there. It was a real pinch when we first put it on. Now it'll be lickety split. It comes with these tiny spacers. You're gonna push the spacer into the, the handguard arm like that. Set it all the way down. And now let's assemble the rest of the handguard. And you wanna make sure there's a, there's a thicker part of the cable here. You wanna make sure that is through there to help protect it if there's any pinches. Yeah, well, we can, that goes there. Oh, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Ha! So now you can see where the wire's coming out there, how much room it's got. So it's not being stressed by the, uh, the hand guard. So the, the kit comes with two new screws. This hand here is the new screw. So it is a little bit longer. Yeah, the old ones are too short. Actually, it feels like it's it's bringing the light housing in now. It it's would, reduced. Yeah. There, there are small screws. Um, it says to torque, torque it. it in ninety foot pounds. <laughs> wait, wait, ready, ready, ready. Wait, wait. Shh. <laughs> Don't torque it in ninety foot pounds. <laughs> Listen, everything you see on this channel is at your own risk. Oh, we take no responsibility for torquing. Torque the M uh, the K the K fifty by twenty five to pound force inches is actually what Skidoo uses. Uh, so newton meters, so one point five newton meters within a zero point two tolerance. Okay, now we get the cap. <laughs> a little dive no bag. And then there's little channels on here. You'll see that the wire kind of goes into. It probably won't hold either there's a right and left of these as well so the wire is going to clip into the in like that yep. oh and then God. this goes around the end like so so there we go that's so, so that if you're laying on the ground it's a nice finished look <laughs> when you roll your sled you can go Wow, you can't even see don't those light say, wires. Don't say that around my, one of my snowmobiles. Do not curse it by saying when it's upside down, you can look at it. Fuck that. Don't be doing that. Are they the same as the freaking stupid After I've seen how much you damaged your handguards, I'm not going to let you work on the Gen 5. Good. I don't <laughs> want to, this is the first and last time I'm putting LED handguards on my snowmobile. We haven't even gotten to the hard part yet. <laughs> of actually wiring it. Oh, boy. But yeah, doesn't that look good? Okay. I see. Back to the T25. Do these evenly so you don't crack the plastic because, you know. How much are we getting paid by an hour by that mud brat guy? I don't know. Yeah. So we're going to leave that kind of loose for now. There's those ducks. We live near a pond. I told you, to you can tell. Much. These were developed for the original LED lights that had really, really thin wires on. They really require it to be honed out. Look at right that. At it's, just, it's only, it's just a little gentle swoop. We want to. Which is funny because that means that they, uh, hopefully when we move to the Gen 5, that this these are routed out bigger for these Maybe. new wires. Look at them go. Kit's gonna come with one of these for each side and it's a spacer that you're gonna use um, and it's gonna go on the, so you see there's two sides, obviously the side, it's the only side it's gonna fit. And it kind of sits and you just, just press it in with your finger. 
And you'll see, actually, you can actually see it sitting in the channel for it as well. Well, I think we're gonna have to buy a new set of hand cards. I think we chooch the wires. <laughs> Well, we don't need that side anyway, because it's the right handlebar. This is the one with the signal in it. Oh, so I should be more careful with this one. Yes, we should. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Do the do the right-hand side one first. Are they so different? I wonder if up. these plugs are different on them. They probably are, because the ones yeah, for changing they're bigger. color. Yeah, they're bigger. Yeah, this is just a power. Okay, we'll get to that. Okay, okay. okay. They make it idiot-proof, though. Get to that. Get to that. Oh, we're just a couple of idiots that... You can't figure it out. The other thing is when it's minus 40 in your garage, the wiring's a little stiffer than normal. It's not quite as pliable. <laughs> we should have done this in October. We couldn't quite, we tried to drag the snowmobile into the living room, but the we just couldn't Mom get it put the, the kibosh on that. It's gonna slide under this tab on this side. And once you get it in place, you're just gonna press down in the center of it. Here yeah. both clicks. And you can see no gap. We're good to grow. I ordered my wife a box of jewelry from Charm Diamond Center and they sent us these Ski-Doo hand guards. So we're gonna do what we did on the other side. We're gonna first, let me make sure I got the right way around. We're gonna get that thick part of the wire. We're gonna insert it. Over, right here's good? Yep. Right in the groove that we uh, filed out to make it a little bit bigger. And then we're just gonna kinda. I didn't say nothing. Oh, uh, holy God, it's moving around. <laughs> Ricky, I'm all caught up in this wire. That's better. He's just sitting there reefing on I think it's probably. I've got that, that through the wires, and now that since I've honed it out, it moves nice and freely. Longer screw. All yours, Doc. Okay, so it's the longer T20 screw again. I they want you to check out the Marlin back there, too. It's pretty sweet. Actually, talk about a product that worked right out of the box. <laughs> Marlin sled deck is is cats. If you saw the no snow, the no snow coffee run, the Marlin deck made that video like pretty much. It's sweet. Go. I went and picked up the new Gen Five with the Marlin deck too. When we're done here, we're gonna change the name hey, on uh, that, that big check on the back and take it to the local bank and cash it. <laughs> so you drop the wire down behind the the brake reservoir. And then the uh, the hangar can go on. I like shooting video better than I do making it. You're hired. I heard there was a position opening up at Side by Side Blog though, so I might go see if that <laughs> position is still available. They pay more. Anything times zero is still zero though, isn't it? It is. Hey, I'm gonna give you some Mudbrats NFTs. Oh no. God, it's getting, the more he tightens it, the looser it gets. Righty Lucy. <laughs> You go until the bolts go ready, Lucy. You know what's never going to happen? They're never going to come off. Speaking you go until experience. they're really tight and then they loosen off and then back it off. That's, 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 that's manual <laughs> torquing. That's auto torquing is what I call that. Okay. So now we get to do the fun part. We get to take off the hood and the... So the side panels have three clips on the Gen 4. One, two, three. Pop it out. Flip the door open. And then push up on it and lift out. The four screws, it's the... There, there's uh, one on each side here and one here. On there's two in here. There's six screws. So we gotta take this this glove box off. The glove box comes off. I'm gonna pull the bikini off. Or if you have what a windshield, that? it's the same way. Did you see and that? then this uh, comes up like that. And then you just pull back on it and it'll snap off. We're gonna pull these two screws off here. Still all T, T20. Nice little stick. And then the other two are uh, on each side, here and here. And we have to unscrew the, the air, air box. Right. Oh, they're all Chinese. Easy. Go. So you gotta do this NASCAR style. You get it going before you get to the... <laughs> it's a thought that counts. Oh my gosh. Make sure you always use Milwaukee tools because you're not a bitch. And then the, uh, the air box. Do you just have to loosen it? Yeah, just loosen it. There's a little hose clamp up in there. How loose do you go? You just go as loose just as like you can that. go? That's good. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So pull back the curtains. Yep, the glove box can come out. Watch your wire. If you've got a outlet like we have, you unplug it. Okay, that can come off. And then the uh, the gauge pod can come off. And you know what? If you're on this and you're still running halogen lights, get on motojungle.ca 
and order yourself a set of uh, B2 stingers for the for your sled. You might as well do it now when you get it all apart. Actually, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Okay, now yeah, let's mess this that hood will pop, pop off. This whole thing. And the whole gonna... unit pops off black from here all the way over. Your headlights got to unplug. There you go. It's off. And then this slides like that. It's in frame, but you just have to pull it far enough back to get. Can you grab that harness out of the way? There we go. And then the hood comes off just hey. like that. So when you're going to do this, you actually need to make sure that you order the retrofit adapter kit. Look at the, the plug that comes off. This is only for Gen, Gen 4 models, regardless if you're NA or turbo. Um, if you look, you got two, two plugs and two long like rectangles. Now, if you look at the wiring harness coming off our unit, it is three pin, three pin and these two holders. So what you need to do is you need to get this retrofit kit and it converts the two prong from the machine to the three prong that goes to the unit. So we're just going to pop that off like that. Just get tuck that out of the way. So I've created the template with a hole cut in it, 22 millimeters wide by 44 millimeters high. And then we're just gonna feel underneath here, we've got the wires out of the way. We're gonna feel underneath here just to make sure that there's nothing in the way. 17 millimeters divided by two. So we wanna be- 8.5. 8.5, so we wanna be even eight millimeters in from the edge. And I'm just gonna draw a little pencil line here. There. And then we're going to line our template up. I suppose. I'm going to lay that on here like this. And then I'm going to just going to roughly sketch in the, the opening. You can see the pencil line I've got sketched in there. We're going to go right in the corner of my template hole. Again, make sure you check and make sure you're not poking through anything here. Very slow, because if you slip, you're going to scratch further. Drill in the corner just helps if the knife slips, that it doesn't slice your console up. Yeah. So we're heating up the blade of the knife with the torch. And we're just pushing it in. And it cuts it like butter. Just like that. Shit. Hone this out to be the right size. It's better to be too small than too large. You know what I mean? And that's a tough corner to get to, eh? Yeah. There we go. Gonna fit. Now she's gonna snap back into place. Is it recording? Yep, you're recording. Look how nice that looks, boys. So I got the daisy chain harness that we picked up attached. So as you see, you still get the standard daisy chain for your two prong, but also it gives you a daisy chain for the three prongs. So if you buy any more accessories that in the future use this, you're not gonna have to spend another $50 every single time to get the adapter, which is good as much as I'm annoyed that you have to get the adapter in the first place. So this will actually only go on one way because the prongs are only on one side. So you can't really mess this up. You just look at what side it is. Two north, one south. There we go. Perfect. And that's solid. This. That plugs in the hole up there. We want to loop that around like this. We're going to come in from behind this post here. Okay, go on. Okay, grab the other one. Well, I'll put it on the inside because we don't want it to interfere with the air box when it that. We were all fun and games at the start, but now we're hitting the three hour mark. <laughs> the mood's Don't got a little that. more somber. <laughs> Don't tell them that. <clears throat> Goes, wait, this is the new accessory. This is where we're coming from the sled. So we go male, female. 
still have a daisy for both two and three. So if you get Gen 5 accessories, you plug them in there. All regular okay. people accessories go in there. Okay, and then we're gonna clean those up. We could zip tie them to that post. Do you want me to... Doctor. Uh, that's what the old handguard installs. You wanna put them inside these sheaves. So you wanna cut these sheaves loose wherever they are. And then we're gonna uh, open them. And what we're gonna do is this ribbing opens up like that, see that? So we're just gonna actually put it into the ribbing. Oh, what the freak? I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I thought those were sealed. Those are just, they're just like a little, almost like yeah. a cable organizer. It's totally what they are. Cool. Good work, Scooby. And you just go along. And then when you get it right down into the console, then you can zip tie the end so it doesn't slide out. we will make sure it's right in. It's not right in yet. But spend some time and make it look nice and stock. Zip tie it right here. Do I'm gonna do one there. Okay, so on the two different hand guards, I got the two plugs. When you're plugging in, your right side goes to the female connector. So plug that in. Just like this. Doesn't click, but it's in. Two new connectors. No, no, together. just around the top of that hose. The just this tube, the top of it. Like this. So yeah, so it doesn't doesn't peel open and let that cable fall out. We got lots of extra zip. I want to make sure that there's Smell that. that, that was a good hit right there of the 91 after the lead to the tank. There we go. You want to insert a... Zip ties are cool. <laughs> that's, where, that's where our minds are at after doing this. Yeah. Okay, so again, so as you see, this one that was from the left side was a female to the male plug. And... Little click. She's good. Okay, perfect. You want to test them? Oh, ready two. for this. Are you ready for this? Nice. The oranges though, like look at that. You'll see that from a mile away. Thanks a lot for installing those signal lights, Drew. You did an amazing job and they look dynamite. It's gonna be awesome to see them on the trail. It's gonna be awesome to see everyone else using them on the trail. I think it's an excellent safety feature for all kinds of riders and it keeps your hands on the handlebar where they belong. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, you found it helpful, make sure you click the like button, hit subscribe. Where's that other video I want you guys to click on? Be sure to watch this video right here and the one right there. Over here, <laughs> over here. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> And we'll see you guys out on the trail. Enjoy the ride.